Hello and welcome to this sixth part. We're halfway through after this video. Of the Europa League jersey review, we're looking at Group F, and of course in Group F my favorite team is playing, so I needed to pull out a Milan jersey. Since Maldini is back in management, I chose my Maldini last jersey, the one that he played his last home game in, although this didn't end that pretty with the fans. I also have a Maldini jersey hanging here. I have this is of course on the back of Maldini and another Maldini. I think overall Maldini is probably my favorite player of all time just because he plays for played for my favorite team and it's just such a defensive icon. Um, it's a little bit odd to choose a defender, but I think he was that great. So I don't feel too bad saying that. But we're not going to start with Milan. It hurts a little bit. Milan is not the top seed. Milan, yeah, is average at the moment. The top seed is actually Olympiakos from Piraeus in Greece. And um, it's a little bit surprising that they are actually in the Europa League, uh, given how much they dominated um, Greek soccer. But I guess, you know, many will say it was not all kosher what's going on. To the jersey, um, I actually like this one a lot. When I saw this, this is exactly what I would expect a red-white Olympiakos jersey to be. Um, even down to the golden. Yes, they're not champions. However, with the four stars on top, it connects so nicely um, with the Adidas logo. And here, I think this makes a lot of sense. I like the width of the stripes. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I wish that the sleeves were striped. But other than that, the sponsor fits nicely on there. Um, this is a really nice striped Adidas shirt. I don't know if the uh, stripes continue on the back. I really wish they would. I'm afraid they won't. But just on the look of this one, I'm going to give this nine stars. If the back is red, it's I would probably drop it down to eight. But I'm going to stick with nine stars. It really looks great um, overall. Uh, the away jersey, yeah, uh, white with red accents. I guess it makes sense because it's mainly red on the home jersey. But it's also a little bit odd because, you know, there is a good amount of white on there. It's the Morocco away jersey, in a way, uh, in Olympiakos getup. Um, not sure what I gave that kit. It's not... It actually looks better here than for Morocco, honestly, because Morocco, I would have wished a little bit more green. So I guess I can give this, yeah, not exciting either, but overall it looks all right. I can't give this six stars. I actually like the third jersey uh, better, although it has, again, the weird Adidas uh, pattern all over. But it makes a lot more sense because it's a much darker contrast, and I like how the red is popping, even on the sponsor and the crest. I'm gonna give this seven just because. Uh, maybe I wish that here on top it would be red. That could have looked interesting or maybe not. I think it's all right as it is. We have the red popping up somewhere else. Yeah, so we're done with Olympiakos and then Milan pops up. The home shirt is very similar to this one with the red center stripe. I actually like black better. Um, it has, of course, a black color, not the white one. But overall, uh, when I see this in play, it passes a smell test. It is a Milan jersey and it's really similar to this one. Just take off the white color, make this black and you more or less have this one. This one is, of course, it's now a Puma uh, jersey, the first one. But as I said, it passes a smell test. I even like that the numbers are not the ugly Puma numbers. Uh, the only odd thing is that on the back, the black is the center stripe. That was something that I find a little bit odd. But other than that, good looking Milan jersey. Um, and I gave this nine stars. I'm going to stick with this. Um, ten if it was the black in the center, I guess. However, the away jersey continues to disappoint me. I just don't get the black strap. I am looking up what I gave here. Um, let the color go around with the red and black. That, that would be an improvement. 
make this stripe in two tones make it red make it black or leave it out all to all together let let it go around uh, it's just something not right about it yes the red sponsor is nice and so on but uh, this is a real disappointment i usually like the white milan jerseys better i um, only give this four stars stick with that of course uh, but i do like the black jersey and that's the one they played against dudelage and when i look it up again what i gave yes uh i really like the red sleeves uh, with the black pattern in there um uh, yeah that's all i can say it's black and it's entering sleeves and the same shorts like the sleeves this is what i love about this kit the best uh, yes, we had seen a more interesting black shirts for Milan. I probably I should pull one out. This one is not one of these, uh, but I have another one in black. There have been quite some interesting ones, but this one looks really nice and it makes so much sense for Milan to have a black uh, third jersey. I gave this eight stars. I'll stick with that. The opponents don't get easy in this group, and the next one is Betis Sevilla, which again has a very beautiful kit. The only thing that I don't like is that the green stripe here is the mirrored with this weird kappa template thing also. So we have the double green here. That looks a little bit odd, but other than that, beautiful Betis shirt. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, color maybe could go a little bit in a V2, but other than, I'm nitpicking here. I gave this nine stars, I'm gonna stick with my nine stars. But then Kappa issued two more shirts that we haven't covered in our La Liga review. I might give a more detailed review uh, later on. The Avager is dark green with a lot of triangles in all kinds of green on there. And a golden crest that you cannot really see and the Kappa logo that you cannot really see. It's all very messy, almost psychedelic in a way. Um, crazy. I was not a fan of it. I mean, it's not horrible, but I'm just not a fan of it. Especially how you cannot see the crest. This is what bugs me most about this one. And so I'm gonna go probably only three stars. The third jersey is in light green. So we have a lot of green here, uh, but it's a lot more interesting, especially if you look at it, this light green on top, and then you have kind of this sketch of the city on the bottom. This is a really nice touch. Uh, we can discuss of course the colors and how it contrasts, but you know I think it's different from both different enough from both jerseys. Uh, the navy accents on the collar and the sleeve cuffs of course. Full colored crest which is a little bit better visible here. But I really like this painting. I love it almost. Uh, really this is a cool jersey. I'm gonna give this seven stars because it really looks nice. And then the last one is, you know, we have three kind of big names. And when I saw that draw, I was not happy for Milan. And then there's Dudelange in there. A team you can only lose against. And I'm happy Milan won the first game against them. Uh, Dudelange, of course, is very well known in Austria as well because they eliminated Salzburg a few years, a few years ago. Uh, and people are still laughing about it. The home jersey, I was a little bit surprised, is yellow with a black sash which you don't really see that much because there's these two huge sponsors and the crest it's a little bit messy it's actually quite sponsor heavy this shirt i understand a small team needs a lot but it's, it's a little bit overbearing and i'm not sure about the colors because the crest is a lot more colorful and uh, the black and the yellow only show up in the very center of this crest for that reason i think well, I'm gonna give this four stars. The away jersey is very similar, just in mint green and black. It has the same fault with the sponsors. For that reason, I also I, I stick with the same. Uh, it's it's just four stars. It's not the greatest of jerseys. And then the one they have been wearing against Milan is actually probably the best one. Uh, it's just white with black. I was a little bit surprised about that and I was even surprised when you look it up. You cannot really find uh, this jersey in a store or online. If they wear it particularly for Milan, probably particularly for the Europa League, not an insider. But this one is not exciting, but it looks good. It reminds me a little bit of about the Ghana home jersey back when they had a white black home jersey. Uh, I think it's the best of the three and I'm gonna give this 
six stars. Well, there you have it. We're done with group F. We are halfway through. More teams to come, more groups to come. Hope you're enjoying this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments where you agree or disagree, which shows you like of these. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Tomorrow we have the next part. We're going to go to group G. Until then, goodbye.